Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a plug weld or a rosette weld with a TIG. So I've got these stainless steel 5 16 bolts that I'm going to be welding into this mild steel that's 095 thick. And I've got these holes drilled that are 5 16 for these bolts to go through. But I can't just weld around these and then grind it smooth or it'll lose a ton of strength. So what I'm going to be doing is hacking the heads off of these bolts, recessing them down in there, below flush, and then plug welding or rosette welding, whatever you like to call it, and filling it above flush. That way I can grind it down and it'll be smooth like this. And what I'm gonna be filling it with is this uh, 309 stainless filler. And I use 309 anytime that I'm gonna be welding uh, stainless to mild steel. So right here I'm just chamfering the edges on it. That way there's no burrs and it's uh, nicer to weld on. I ran some scotch Brite over it to make sure there wasn't any grease or anything else left on it. Then I went ahead and used some alcohol to rub over it and clean everything up. And same with the bolt. I like just 70% isopropyl alcohol. This is some uh, camping fuel alcohol, but anything will work. Then I like to get my uh, tungsten to a nice fine point. It's really just preference, but this is the way that I like to. I just use a cheap bench grinder with a fine grinding wheel. I think this grinder is like 20 bucks on Amazon or something. This filler rod's been sitting for probably close to a year, so I cleaned it up a little bit, make sure it helped. Then when I set the bolt in there, I make it basically flush with the bottom, but to where it's not too hard to get in there and weld. Right here I just do a quick little tack. Then I light up, and I have the pulse on, that's why you can see that, it's just super high pulse. Uh, you don't really need it, but I like to use it when, if I have it. And then what I'm doing is I'm going around and basically welding like a fillet or like a lap joint all the way around. And then once I get around, I'll move more towards the center and fill that up. And then I move over and get the edges that I haven't gotten. And once I've looped all the way around, I bring it to the center and fill that up and taper off. Well guys, hopefully you learned something about plug welds and stainless steel to mild steel welding. If you did learn something, I appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, that way you can see all my future videos. Hit that little bell down there, that way it notifies you every time I upload a video. Uh, you can also check out my other videos. I think they're around there, I don't know. But you can check those videos out if you like and follow me on Instagram at 5th Street Fab. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, you have a good one.